you know what that means. It's seven o'clock. Time to get this party started. Welcome to Check It Out Tuesday. You're on Tamara's Paper Trail. I am Tamara. Who are you? I'm cleaning up. <laughs> I'm cleaning up my stamps from last night because I know they're going to end up all over whatever I do tonight. So I thought I should uh, clean them off and then shove them over here in the corner because that's how I roll. Give me hidey ho. Let me know who's out there today. Shayla. I was just pulling up your card to see if I'm uh, casing that tonight or what the heck I'm doing. I don't know. <laughs> I've been down here. Oh, all of 14 minutes. You know how it is. Hey, Coral. Hi, Marcella. I'm trying to get my act together. It's not going very well. Let me see. I'm trying to figure out what I'm doing tonight. Huh. I wonder. I wonder. I keep commenting. While well, I get my uh, proverbial act together. Oh, look at all the people are coming through. There's Bev. There's Wendy. Hello. Hey, Wendy, where have you been? You've been back for a while, right? You were in San Diego? Yeah, San Diego. But you've been back, right? Where you been? Where you been? Tell us all. Hi, Janet. Ah, Aw, thanks, Shayla. Well, I love that you love my card that I cased from Hammond and Penny. Ha ha I don't even know. <laughs> you think Hammond and Penny? I don't know. Tracy will tell me. <laughs> and then I like what you did with mine. So I might just case you who cased me, who cased Hammond and Penny. Hi, Cheryl. Hi, Elizabeth. Welcome, Mary. Yes, I am showing, I'm sharing my paper tonight. Hi, Lynn Sibley. How are you? Lynn, where are you? Morning, Tracy. I mean, morning. <laughs> God, morning, Tracy. <laughs> San Diego. Excellent. You're volunteering for the income tax program. I don't know what that means. Hammond and Penny. Okay, thanks. <laughs> Hi, Joy. <laughs> Hammond and Penny. Okay, I should write that down somewhere, but I should know. Hey, Donna, how are you? Hi, Jen. Howdy ho! Got your party pants on. Let's rock and roll. You live in Truro, Nova Scotia. That's far away. And it's super late there, isn't it? Like 7, 10 o'clock there? Hmm, past my bedtime. I'm sound asleep by 10. And then I'm wide awake at 11. <laughs> All right. I don't know. I don't know a whole lot. You know I don't know a whole lot. So, because now I decide I have to fiddle with my lights. Uh, community Volunteer Income Tax Program doing tax returns for low-income senior students. Do I qualify for that, Wendy? <laughs> 10 p.m. Lynn, I bow to you. Uh, yeah, I can't even. Hi, Rebecca. Hello. Um, yeah, more Maritimers, right, Marcella? And where are you exactly, Marcella? I know you're down east and it's super late there. No, says Wendy. Okay. Hey, all right. All right. Um, I was going to do a few things tonight. So let's just get let's just get rolling because holy glary. Okay, let's uh, white tone on tone. Wow, that just that smacks you in the face. Okay, here's the other card that I did. Let me uh, let me turn down my light a little bit. Turn down my light a little. It's a little glary. Prince Edward Island. I think I've been everywhere but PEI across Canada. I haven't been to the Northwest Territories. I haven't been to PEI, but I've been everywhere else. When I was younger, my parents took me a lot. We lived in Ontario. We lived in Ottawa. Um, and so we did some traveling when I was younger. Don't remember a lot other than jumping in jellyfish on the beach. Mm -hmm. And now realizing just how dumb that was. But my brother said it was okay to do. And my older brother would never lie to me. <laughs> Ever. Yeah, right. Okay. <laughs> So let's have a little gander at this card. It's it's quite easy to make. It's a little fiddly. Um, but look at the results. Look at the results of this card. I'm like, I just see this little flower end pooping out the end here. I can't have that. Can't have that. Got to... All right. So how was this card made? This card was made using these beautiful shapes dies. Now these are all together. They are $39. And it comes with a mat. There is a co coordinating stamp set, but I didn't care for it. I thought, I'm not going to use it. I'm going to use the dies, but I, I wouldn't use uh, the stamp set. So I didn't buy it. Now, never say never because it carried over, if I'm not mistaken. Mm, I still haven't really had more than a quick glance at that new catalog. I just ordered everything, but I haven't really had a good stare at it. Now, this one, so the beautiful shapes. That's in here, right? Do, do, do. Let's have a little gander. And a little looky see. Beautiful shapes. Page 250. 
Oh, did so much computer work today, you guys. All right, yes, here's the coordinating stamp set. I'm like, I don't know what to do with that. So I'm doing nothing with it. I mean, I like this one. I miss your face. First of all, you're amazing. Um, other than that, meh, I can live without it. So I just bought the dies, and it's very rare for me. I usually buy them both, but these are great. Uh, this one embosses and cuts. You can see it's almost like a bird nest shape. Yeah, they are. They're fantastic, Bev. Yes. Hi, Hope. Hello. It's a great card. I love it. Yes, it is God country, Marcella. I agree. It's so beautiful out there. I'd love to go there. Um, if I wasn't going, well, I'd like to get there in the summer. It's just so stinking expensive. Hi, Teresa. It's so expensive to fly there. And I was thinking of using my flight credits to get there, but then we ended up going, well, $500. That'll get me to what? Saskatoon? I don't know. It's not going to get me a PEI. I'll tell you that for free. Um, I'll get there though. One day I'm coming to see you, Marcella. I have the tea on. All right. So these are the pieces that we need to make this card. Uh, so various, this one too, embosses and cuts. You can see the wacky shape there. It's kind of fun. Yeah. Summer is the best. Absolutely. Yorkshire is God's own country. Oh, okay. Well, you guys can duke it out. They're both gorgeous. I've been to both. Well, I haven't been to both. I haven't been to PEI, but and I don't, yeah, no, I've been to Yorkshire. I've been to Yorkshire. Yeah. Okay. Let's focus, Tamara. Let's focus. So to make these shapes, um, this one, this big one, we made one, two of those, and they're made by nesting these two together. So I'm going to run them through the cut and emboss machine, and I'm going to be careful. You know, if you don't have flat cutting plates, you're going to want to tape that down with washi tape or a post-it note. And I think I might do that just to save myself the grief. So, you know, I've got post-it notes galore. Love my post-it notes Oop, like that. All right. So that's going to get us the shape. I have to cut it out twice. And then this one is made with the center. So these are automatically going to pop out. And then this one uh, is going to make the smaller one. We've got this shape in here, and we have this shape in here. So I'm just going to run that all through my machine. Let's just put my machine over here, shall I? I don't feel like you having to stare at my back. Okay, so let's get our really, look at my cutting pads. This is from when I was cutting for our extravaganza. 1,664 passes through this bad boy. That's why it, look, they were new when I started. Love the fall colors in the Annapolis Valley. Ah, Nova Scotia. Yeah. Yes, you will, Marcella. And hey, my family and I will we'll just come and stay with you too. See how I did that? I just invited myself to stay at your house. Because <laughs> I'm classy like that. All right. Let's run this through this machine. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. All right. When I'm done, oh, there goes my phone. Oh, I think I hear my husband. My husband was, yep, there's my husband. He was at a work function tonight. They were sitting around chewing the fat now that they're kind of back at the office. So he just walked in the door, I hear. All right, I'm going to take these off now. How many of these do I need? I need two of the big one. Let's put this over here, my nails. You know, oh, chipped a nail today. Dag nabbit. And then I did so much computer work. This one's wearing off. Like I typed so much today. I've been working on my paper share or my documents. Um, I've got getting my catalogs together because Janet needs a catalog. So I'm getting all my paperwork together for my paper shares. And I was printing that off and I was printing off my labels. I was a typing machine. I was doing reports, messaging my team, doing all the stuff, a little bit of the things. And my nail, pol nail polish wore off. Struggle is real. Okay. I get so much done though. Um, so today was that Craig was at the office today. I'm going to, because I'm running this through the machine anyway, I'm just going to run everything through again and then I'll have extras for next time. I mean, if you're cranking the machine, you might as well get a few more shapes out of it. Right. Um, anyway, so Craig was at the office today and so I was at the computer upstairs and I get a lot of work done. It wasn't my intention. I had planned to be down here. Um, yeah, I mean, I've got a whole box of new toys, but I'm not allowed to play. Nope. Tamara doesn't get to play until Tamara's work is done. And then I also say to myself, well, I don't get lunch until I'm done what I need to do upstairs. So I didn't have lunch until, oh, it was 1.30, 2 o'clock. <laughs> so, all 
right. There we go. So I think I've got all our pieces here. Hi, Melanie. Yep, he does have some heft to him. You're right. All right, so I'm going to poke this out. And then I'm actually going to pop this down. I have a magnetic sheet here that sometimes I remember to use so that my dies don't end up in the trash. They've been known to end up there. Okay, so here are all our pieces. I mean, I guess I'm making a white one, but I also wanted to make the purple one like Shayla did. So we'll see. Um, look at that. See, I got distracted and it hasn't happened yet. All right, so this card, let's just bring it into the field of vision again. We're just putting it on a white card stock base. And I probably should use a thick, for this one I should use the thick uh, card stock, but I didn't. So essentially we are just laying these down in a fun pattern. So I'm gonna do exactly what I did before because I know that it works. You can see that okay, right? The glare is not too bad. And then, so you just fill in the spots. There's no right or wrong. And I used glue, uh, liquid glue for these, but they really are fun dies to play with. This one is like that. Do I need one more? Oh, I do need one more. Oh, maybe I'll change this up. Let's see what's going on here. I did this one like this, and then this one like this. Nails are too long. Something like that, like that. I don't feel, well, I guess I could run it through the machine again, but I could just use a smaller piece that's already done, like this one. Let's just do that, and then I don't have to run it through the machine. So something like that. Hi, Barb. The catalog came in the mail today. It seems the pages are thinner, or yes, they are, Debbie. They're thinner in Canada uh, for a variety of reasons, one of which we, um, we in Canada um, are often squawking because um, the catalog is heavy and if it's too heavy then it um, in the past has bumped up the postage for us to mail and it was costing like $16 to mail them. So they're very conscious to keep it underweight so it's only about $5.50 to mail them uh, and they did say also due to supply issues that our, our papers were thinner and that's okay. I mean, it would be nice to have a catalog um, with some more heft to it, but not if it's going to cost me that much more in mailing. So there we go. So like that. Now we're just going to glue all that down in place. So that is it. Now this one, I changed up, you know, um, the paper. I, I grabbed the... Hmm, what is this stuff called? The do, 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 expressions of ink. And one of the patterns is this. Ooh, this one. I ran it through the hive folder, embossing folder, and cut it out. And I taped those behind. And so it was just a different color scheme. I don't like it nearly as much. What dyes did you use? Oh, Melanie. You can't come in late and then ask questions. You know, you can't disrupt the class. Beautiful shapes. <laughs> you can. I will allow you to. Oh, good, Marcella. Mhm. Mm so I'm very gonna quick. I'm very gonna quickly. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna very, very. I'm very gonna quickly. Uh, glue this all down. So I am going to hopefully not knock. Actually, I should stamp the best of luck first because it just happened to fit in here really, really nicely. So maybe I should do that. Where's my best of luck? That is in my... Where are you, little bees? Uh, no, really, where are you? <laughs> On the horizon. Oh, Lord. Here we go again, people. Uh... Uh, boy, if I'm ever organized for one of my lives, it would be a miracle, wouldn't it? I don't even know what this is called. Honey Bee Home, right? Dragonflies. Honey Bee Home. Lord. Okay, here we go. So I'm going to do the best of luck. And I've done it in mint macaron. Because that's what Hammond and Penny did. Sometimes it's just hard to be original. 
No, they're not going to fall apart, Debbie. No, 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 no. Okay, so I'm going to go like this. I'm going to see if this is going to fit here, and it's not. So these guys are all going to scooch. So I'm going to stamp the best of luck, and then I'm going to work the rest around it. All right, back to where I was. Um, ba -da -ba. I think that that's what I used was mint macaron. I don't know. Yeah, it looks a little dark, but um, okay. This one I'm just going to not do too much glue so that I can tuck the flower under the bottom. So if I go. Here. Do do. What else happened today? Uh, it was cold. Oh, well, I know what phrase I use, but it's not really appropriate for a family show. Cold as a witch's booby out there today. Walked the dog, and neither of us was impressed. I gotta say, little razor blades. It was like minus seventeen with the wind. How is that okay? It's not. Okay, that one's already glued down, so now I'm kind of hooped. Uh, let's go like this. Yeah, it was like 22 degrees here a week ago, and then now it's like minus 17 with the wind. That's not okay. Okay, hurry up, Tamara. We got things to do. We got paper to show. Right? So the people want to see the paper. Ooh, that one just snuck in there. Okay. Yes, the storm of the decade. I saw that on the news that you guys are going to get just hammered. That's not okay. Down east, too, they're supposed to have some sort of nonsense, hey? Okay, like that. You're late. Oh, Nikki. That's okay. I do, too. <laughs> and then sometimes Tracy has to message me saying, hey, you coming? All right, like that. And then this one, yeah, so I've done a different different size on this one. Like so. And then we'll do this little guy. If your nails allow. <laughs> Tomorrow's Wednesday, so I'm off to my dad's tomorrow. I love my Wednesdays. Okay, I think that's everything there. Yeah. Okay, so now this guy, he's overhanging. Look, look how easy that was, you guys. Like, you just have to run it through the machine a couple times, right? And there's something all over sticky on these scissors. It's not okay. I gotta clean those. All right. So, like that. Now, we're gonna stamp the bees, and I think these look like wasps myself. I don't know. They kind of creep me out, but um, we're gonna run through this piece two or three times. And we're going to stamp and cut out the bees and the wasps. So let's get busy on that very quickly. Batman theme. Okay. Let's stamp these guys. And I did them in gray. Oh, look, the bee is darker, actually. I would have done that in Smoky Slate. Where is Barb located? Barb. Getting ready to be hit by the Colorado Low. Ugh, that's just gross. What did um was it Bill Matheson used to say? Keep your eye on the Idaho high. No, on, on the Idaho. Yeah, high. Keep your eye on the Idaho high. That was his catchphrase when I was a kid. Was it Bill? What was his name, you guys? Bill Math Matheson? Bill, Bill Matheson? Maybe? Our weatherman here for a million years. Okay. You guys talk amongst yourselves while I cut out bees and flowers. So one, two, three. Okay, I'm gonna cut these out. Now I wanna show you a little trick on cutting out this one bee. Now sometimes it doesn't always work with me depending on whether or not I move my machine. But in order to get this guy lined up, there are these little holes. And if you can see his little, um, the tips of his Feet, legs, I guess he doesn't have feet. Tips of the legs, 
in those little dots, then it tends to line it up pretty accurately like that. So I'm going to try. Wish me luck. Be right back. You get to talk to my back for a minute. Talk amongst yourselves. While I try to keep my cart from rolling away. Let me hear. Okay. Get these guys going. Is everybody ready for Easter? I haven't bought, I'm on vegetable duty. I haven't bought any vegetables yet. I haven't put together the girls' Easter baskets yet. I used to do, I always did um, a scavenger hunt for them growing up. And they missed them, so I might have to do another scavenger hunt. In and amongst the other 7,000 things I have to do this week. Okay, let's see if that didn't move. It'll be a miracle. And then I'm going to run the white one through two more times of the flower. Ah, let go. Yeah, a few years ago. Absolutely. Yeah, I know Nikki. Um, he was great. He was very well loved. Keep your eye on the Idaho High. Postpone Easter dinner for a day or two. Oh, yeah. This time of year in travel is just brutal. Like the roads are dry one minute and then the next. Like, you know, you take your snow tires off. 50, can, 50 centimeters, probably not cans, of snow over the next couple of days. Ugh, that's just gross. It's not okay. It makes me cranky. All right, so I'm going to cut through, cut out two more of these flowers. And then we can get to what you all want to see, the new product. I might end up showing it all. Who knows? Probably. There's not really that much, honestly, because we can only order um, select items. And of course I ordered them all. But no, that's a lie. No, there were six things I didn't order. <laughs> a whole six. Okay, this guy, I've used this die so many times that it's starting to get stuck, as you can see. One more. Be right back. One more. Yes, I could have pre-cut all this, but... Mm. I'm never that organized, right? And the thing is, when I do these, when I do everything live, you know, that's when you can pick up some tips and tricks on how to do things. And as I ramble on about whatever it is I'm doing. Okay, let's see if I got my bumblebee out right. Let's see. Did he get centered? Ta-da! Look how well that worked. So, focus. Come on, focus. Doesn't want to. Okay. It's perfectly centered, if I do say so myself. Uh, do dyes get sticky if you use them a lot? Um, not so much sticky, Barb. What's happening is because I've used it so much that, um, well, I think, I don't really know, but I think that the fibers, the paper fibers, kind of start to get built up in there. Um, so I end up having to use my pokey tool and poking through the little dots, which is what I'm doing to release it from the die. Now, the best thing to do, if it starts to get sticky on you, like if, if the pieces get stuck, as they tend to do, certain dies are worse, the more intricate ones are worse, you grab yourself a piece of wax paper. Okay, so you see, actually, I'm glad you asked this question, Barb, Barbara. Um, so you see how I'm having to, you know, kind of manhandle to get it out? Okay, watch this. Grab a piece of wax paper. Yes, I have some in my drawer for just such die cutting emergencies. And what's what I'm going to do? So I'm going to put the wax paper between the paper and the die. Okay. Don't go away. Stay there. Wait for it. So we're going to wax up our die with the wax paper. And, oh, what's that? It just fell out. Fell out. Fell out out. Now, the wax paper is on top of our white paper, so just make sure that you've scraped that off, if your nails will allow. Make sure you take that off. But now it's kind of greasy. Well, not greasy, you know what I mean? It's kind of slicked up, so the next time I go to do another pass, it's not going to be as stuck as it was 
the first two times. Let me show you. Want to see? Why not? Let's do it. See, look at the things you learn when you tune in and when you ask the questions. So I always have a box of wax paper or a roll of wax paper down here. Oh, what's that? It just fell out again. Where's the paper? Look at that. So this time it didn't need any poking. It just fell out. So there you go. Tamara's tip. Yeah. Yep. Little wax paper. Fix you right up. Okay. So now I've got too many of these. I'm going to put these guys over here so I don't lose them. So wasp and a wasp and a bee and some flowers. So this one, I'm just going to tuck in here. I'm going to snip this a little bit because it's too long. And I don't have the time or inclination to use my adhesive sheets. So I just grab my glue and just put it here and there. You don't need a ton of it, obviously. And hopefully I didn't stick it down too wet. Yeah, I did. Huh. Okay. Well, stuck that down real good, didn't I? <laughs> okay. Well, this little guy isn't. Oh, sure he is. We'll manhandle him until he gets in there. Stick him in there. Like so. Forgot about the wax paper technique. Well, that was worth the price of admission then, hey? Okay, so this one, I did more at an angle. Okay, note to self. I could have done these on um, dimensionals as well, these hexagons. Oh, that one's stuck good. Okay, well, he's going to go like this, and he's not going to... <laughs> We'll just pretend he's tucked under there. No one will know. Okay, I like that. And then this one, it just looks a little naked down here. So we're going to put one more down here. I'll trim it off when we're done. Okay, those guys are making a lot of noise up there. All right. Now this flower might not even be stuck down. I don't know. Let's go like this. Like that. Okay, now we just have to attach our bees and or wasps. And for those guys, I used some dimensionals, mini dimensionals. Turn them all over. I scented them pretty well. This one, not so much, but oh well. So put two on the B. Just do one on him. One on him. Okay, Mr. B is gonna go here. The guy's gonna go up here. This little guy is gonna go down here. I'm gonna grab my Soft sea foam or mint macaron? What am I using here? Oh, let's go with light mint macaron. I can't remember what I used. So you know how to take the lid off. Hi, Inez. I am working with the Beautiful Shapes dies to recreate this Hammond and Penny card. And so you saw how I just pushed that off with my holding it like this, push it off like that. Give it a little shake to make sure that there's no alcohol that's going to drip all over your beautiful project. And I'm just going to color the bee green because, you know, why not? We all need green bees in our lives. Let's do his head too. I didn't do his head. Oh, this guy's drying out. Oh, okay. I guess he's all green. This guy, I guess, will all be green too. Originally, I didn't do them all green. Oh yeah, he's dying. He's dying fast. I might have another one. 
I usually do. Okay, like that. And then for the piece de resistance, uh, I need to find my uh, classic mat dots, which carried over, happy to say. And I'm running out of white ones, I'm sad to say, because that's how I roll. I open all the packages and then I use just the one color on all the packages. Okay, so I'm almost out of white. So these are cream. Oh well. Uh, no, I need, I need a big one. These are cream. Guess I'm opening another one. So, big one here. No, there's actually not room for two here where there was before. So I'll alter and I'll do one. Put a smaller one down here. Ta -da! Isn't it gorgeous? I just love it. Just love it. And it's 731, so now I don't have time to do the one that Shayla had done in purples. But I haven't cut this paper yet, and I really want to. It's velvet. It's our velveteen paper. And I have a brand new pack that I haven't used. So um, thank you for the inspiration on it, Shayla. I'm going to try to do that later. But we'll see. We know me, and uh, chances are it probably won't happen. However, it's the thought that counts. <laughs> I know, Gerald. I know. Okay, let's clear off our desk and let's get looking at some new toys, shall we? Because I want to show you. Oh, uh, let's just put all this stuff. Um, I want to show you this stuff that's coming in my paper share and my ribbon share because I need to order. Now, you guys have to work with me, okay? If you guys want in on my shares, I'm going to be on vacation and uh, something bit me. Um, I'm going to be on vacation when the catalog goes live, but I need to order the stuff the minute I can. So I need you guys to RSVP if you want in on my shares or if you want any of the new product from the catalog. So it goes live, I think at 3 a.m. on the 3rd of May. Not March, like my poster originally said. Um, this has nothing to do with it, but I wanted to show you these colors stamped. And I'll do that, but first I'll show you the paper. <laughs> Focus, Tamara, one thing at a time. All right, so. Ugh, what is in the box? Oh my gosh, this is what's in my box. So I got two of everything, two of the papers of everything. Because... It's the new catalog, and in two years, I will go through two packages of each one of these. So this is the peak, uh, Parakeet, Parakeet Party, Orchid Oasis, Tahitian Tide. This one really hurts my eyeballs. I can't see me using this one very often, but it, I want to see how this differs from our Poppy Parade. Let me see. Oh, yes. It's got a little bit more... It's not as bright. Now, it's hard. You're going to get a glare, obviously. This one's brighter. But they're very, very similar. That's our sweet sorbet. Oh, I love this. What? Oh, <laughs> this is a multi. What? Wait. Okay. I got, apparently, I got the uh, in color packs. So I must be thinking about door prizes or something with these. So these are the, you get four of every sheet. Um, that's why I had to case it, right, Sheila? Yeah. So don't hide our catalog. Oh, that's not okay. That's weird. Everybody's everybody was getting theirs like today. So hopefully tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, I really like the monochromatic on that one too, Wendy. Mm -hmm. And so the starry sky. Love the starry sky and love the orchid oasis. Amazing. I love these colors. They're kind of, I don't know, purpley and blue. It depends on what you put it with as to what color it really kind of pulls out. Anyway, those are the new in colors. In the card stock. So that's not part of my paper share though. No, no. Oh Lord. My back is so angry. You guys, it's, I don't know how I'm going to make it through Disneyland. I really don't. I don't know. Okay. Let's get busy here. Let's get busy. I'm going to pop these in here so that they don't get lost. No, I'm not going to try. 
Oops, on it. Go over there. All right, so I got two or three of each of these too. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I did. Oh, 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 oh. What have I got here? Let's see. Okay. Why do I only have one of these? No, I don't. Who am I kidding? All right. What have I got here? What is this? Oh, I got this paper. I didn't know we could bring over this paper. Hi, Anne. Welcome. Yeah, I got mine uh, last Friday, Wendy, like a week ago Friday. No, what day is today? Tuesday. Yeah, I got mine Friday. All right, so these are all part of my paper share, and it's not everything in the paper share because we couldn't order everything, everything. I got more paper. Wait, there's more down here. Okay, so this is a lot of it, but it is not all of it. Okay, so first up, we have brush stroke 12 by 12. No, this one is not in the paper share. <laughs> This is not it, but when you get your catalog, so I'm going to start delivering. I've got, sorry, two going out tomorrow, but I want to make sure my packets are all right. I, I'm including a lot of stuff. I'm including uh, tabs and stickers and all kinds of stuff. So I need to make sure that everything is proper before I start handing them out. But um, when you, oh, when you get your catalog, you can look at all the designer papers and all the 12 the 12 papers are what are in my share. Now, this lighting is not doing this justice. Can you see that? It is, it's like a wallpaper. So it's single sided and you get just three sheets. And I want to say, wow, is that $16.50? For I don't know what I paid for this. No, that can't be $16.50. I'll have to check. Look at this color combination. Oh, <gasps> Night of Navy, Blushing Bride, and Soft Succulent. Okay. I love this. It's gorgeous. Gorgeous. I can't even. <laughs> I love it. Okay, you know what? I'm going to, hang on, I'm going to grab myself my flyer. Don't go away. I'm back. Okay, I just wanted to grab my paper share flyer. So, this is what's happening. You're getting the 12 designer papers that are in the catalog and the 16 different ribbons. $7. Thank you, Jan. Thank you. You guys always have my back. Thank you so much. I'm such a hot mess. So you're going to end up with 176 sheets of six by six designer paper. This one is not included. This is separate. Um, but all of these other ones I'm going to show you. And then you're going to get the 16 different ribbons and you get a fifth of a roll. So that's either one yard or two yards, depending on what's in the roll. Mm -hmm. And if you buy the two of them for $120, you're going to get half a pack of the in-color paper for free. Now, this is the in-color paper, so you're going to get a half a pack of this. So the pattern, so it's all the colors, right, that I just showed you. And so you're going to get two of each. So you're going to get, well, two of each. So they have the, the same pattern in all of the colors. So this pattern and this pattern and then that pattern on the other side, and that pattern on the other side. So you get two sheets of each in all of the new colors. So you get that thrown in as a perk if you buy um, both the paper share, oh, both the paper share and the ribbon share. How fun are these? I mean, kids' cards, birthday cards, celebratory cards, so bright and cheery. So that is the in color stuff. $120. And so it's going to cost, if you want the paper share, it's long distance to mail. The paper share is $20. And that's because it's a flat pack. Um, that's the um, uh, Canada Post flat rate boxes. It'll fit in that uh, for $20. So if you get just the paper, it's $20. If you get the paper and the ribbon, it's $20 because it's flat rate. If you want um, just the ribbon, it's $5. So that's what you get. Now this is going to be, look, even do my little logo. Um, if you're getting a catalog for me, you're going to get all this little, you're going to get that flyer in there. You're going to get some tabs. These are tabs in case you get the catalog and you go, what the heck are those? Those are tabs in German. Maybe I don't need to give you the German ones. Well, who knew? <laughs> I didn't realize. That. Okay. Well, there's some blank ones, whatever you can use. You can write whatever you want on a Sharpie on those. Um, and then I've also got the have it and the need it stickers. You can sticker up your book. So that's what's going to go in my little packets. All right, back to the paper shower. So this is, I can't, I want to use this right now for this color combination. Will the ribbon fit in the flat box? Yes, absolutely, Inez. Um, so if you order the paper on the ribbon, it's $20. 
because it's a flat rate for that one box and it's a, it's it's fine for weight so it'll go in there together so if you get that it's 120 and then 20 dollars for the shipping but the bonus like the benefit of doing the paper and ribbon shares is you're going to get a quarter pack of everything and a fifth of a roll of ribbon which is more than enough for most crafters okay i'm just going to take away all of the extras that i've got here so that it's not sliding everywhere so and these are, like I say, just uh, the ones that we could order. There are more. There are 12 different patterned papers included in my share. So this this one threw, the, threw everything off with my calculations because those tricksters. First of all, it's a specialty designer series paper. So I think it's $21. dollars go with that 20 something dollars I don't know someone will correct me so it's called he's the man so this is a masculine paper look at this you guys look at the paper it's a pig like barbecue tools and a cow <laughs> uh did you order the have it need it labels or I made them myself I made them myself Cheryl I can get you a template if you need them 21 dollars thank you Wendy so as with all of our paper great busy pattern on one side love this so you've got your working dude right your fancier man and then it's it's a neutral you know color uh, paper on the back so that you can use it for cards that aren't necessarily masculine cars neutral 21 thanks debbie you guys are the best honestly I don't have to know what I'm talking about. I got my village. I got my girl gang. Okay, so those are five different sheets of double-sided paper. So you're going to get um, a share of that. And then there are these, oh, and this page too. Oh, I love this one for the camper dad. And then you get, oh, it's falling apart. Okay, that's why I had it tucked in there. Um, you get two sheets of die cuts so these are ready to pop out these are great for scrapbooking look at them all um or for cards so you only get two of these so i had to split this pack of paper into two instead of into four okay if that makes sense so that's why that bumped up the cost of things so i'm going to nestle this back in side <laughs> of the tape um the packaging because that's delicate and I'm already it doesn't want to cooperate already so get in there okay so I'm put that back in there before it gets all mangled so that is one of the papers there fabulous love that paper okay now these ones see there's only four more this one this one is is this the tricky one? Sun prints. There's one that's kind of tricky. Tricky in that it's... I'll show you. What are the chance I'm going to get a paper cut? Pretty good, I say. All right. So this is called Sun Prints. And it is in Grey Granite, Night of Navy, Pacific Point, and Starry Sky. I, don't, I need more space. Hold on. Okay. Oh, so. Oh, that's fun. You know what? You could even use this for a Christmas paper. It looks kind of like uh, hoarfrost. That's really gorgeous. The only thing I don't like about sheets like this, though, is when I go to cut them into four, y'all aren't getting the identical pieces, but that's okay you're probably not as ridiculous as I am same with this okay like how do I cut this piece how do I cut that somebody's gonna get just no somebody no no that's not good I'm gonna have to rethink that I'll make it work I'm not gonna charge you anymore but maybe oh. okay stop it stop it right now well I guess it is what it is hmm pretty okay so that one again your coloring is going to be off I don't imagine anybody would be upset you'll make it work right with whatever you got that one's nice I like that yep I think we could use that to replace the ocean waves DSP oh sure 
Okay, and then this one. Is this, oh. All right, so it's just that one sheet that's a little bit weird. So somebody's going to get, yeah, just a, somebody's going to get just this. I'll, I'll see, I'll see how many shares I get and I'm going to, I'll try to get everybody, I'll try to get at least three people. Nope. Nope. I'll see what I can do. I might have to order extra and just give you guys those sheets up. See what I can do. That's, that's. When you try to do a paper share, those are the things that keep us awake at night. <laughs> the dryer sheet technique would be great with that first blue in that pack. The dryer sheet technique. Dryer sheet. Like with glitter? You mean, Bath? Like attaching the, the glitter to it? The dryer sheet technique. Is that the one you're talking about? Okay, I'm going to have to think about that one. Okay, so that, oh, I love me some black and white. Perfectly penciled. Okay, I'm going to love this. Right now I know it. I just bought all this stuff. I didn't actually look at it in the catalog. It didn't really matter to me what it was going to look like. I just bought it all. <laughs> uh, yeah, with the glitter. Okay, you know what? I've been thinking about that one, Bev. But we don't sell the glitter anymore. So, no. <laughs> Plus, it's so messy. Oh, come on. Oh, you could color this with our blends. Oh, and the other side is black. Oh, I do. I love it. I've been coloring so much lately. Like once a week, I buy myself a coloring book on Amazon. Beautiful. Oh, love it. So fun. Oh, yeah. Nancy, are you in the house? Nancy, you need this paper. Okay, now you guys, when you get your catalogs, um, those of you who aren't demonstrators, listen to me. If your wish list... Oh, is $117. Don't know, Tracy. We'll think about that. Um, if your wish list from the new catalog is $117 or more, and I can pretty much promise you it's going to be because you're going to want all the in-color stuff, right? Get it in the starter kit, okay, please. It doesn't have to be through me. Get it through whoever your demonstrator is. Get it through somebody who is closer to you if you live far away from me. Of course, I would love to have you in my girl gang, but I'm telling you, the best deal. You're not going to pay any shipping and handling. You're not going to pay any GST. So why wouldn't you get the starter kit? You don't. I promise you, you don't even have to log into the system. Just grab the deal and run away. Start the car. You know, if you want to make orders, you can. They will be 20% off minimum. But it's going to save you a ton of cash. So don't just place a large order. Get the starter kit and then place a large order under yourself and get the 20% discount. Please, I beg of you. How pretty is this? What is this? This is called Hues of Happiness. Okay, so the front cover, I think, is using this stamp set, Hues of Happiness, if I'm not mistaken. So I can't show you the inside, but this is, yes, Hues of Happiness. Oh, that's fun. Oh, pretty. But again, okay, they're messing with me. On the paper shares, because not everybody's going to get all the colors. Maybe you will. Yes, you will, because you're going to get two sheets of this. Okay, I'll make that work. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Yep. Oh, I love this one. Love it. Yes, you're right, Barb, the, or Barbara. I don't know. I feel like too familiar to call you Barb. I'll call you Barbara. Uh, the dyes do work on some of the flowers. And, oh, it's so pretty. Love it. Love it. Love it. Yes. So many options. I think it works with the sheet, but I could be wrong. Pretty, pretty, pretty. So it's got all these colors. I don't know. Flowers are kind of growing on me. It's never really been my thing before. What time is it? Some 49. Well, it's not like you're going to leave. If I'm not done at 8, right? Because you want to see it all. All right. So there's that paper is in there. And like I say, there's uh, this isn't all of them. There's more that I wasn't allowed to buy. Which is crazy because we would have a lot more in sales. Because <laughs> I buy it all in duplicate and or triplicate. 
This one is called Pretty Prince. I bet they are. pretty is that? That's, and what color is this? Bermuda Bay? Bermuda Bay, Blackberry Bliss, Calypso Coral, Coastal Cabana, Evening Evergreen, Gorgeous Grape, Pink, Petal Pink, Rich Razzleberry, Shaded Spruce, Soft Sea Foam, <gasps> Soft Succulent, and Sweet Sorbet. We got all the colors. Oh, see, okay, they did the same thing. Jerks. <laughs> oh, we've got the three. Okay, this is, I remember, I was kind of watching Diane my friend Diane Inkster over at the Creative Inkster. And there's three colors and then the repeating patterns. Or the four colors, or maybe the five colors, four colors. One, two, three, four of them. Okay, so it's all the same pattern in the different colors. Okay, I get it, I got it. I'm, God, I just when I had all my paper shares figured out in my brain for ordering, I don't know. Who knows? Maybe I'm making a loss on whatever I'm charging. Don't know. Okay, that's like just boring. <laughs> Isn't Shaded Spruce retired? No. No, Shaded Spruce is a it's a standing color. Oh, look at this! Is the evening evergreen? Oh, soft sea foam. Oh my god. Gorgeous. Okay, I want to take up scrapbooking. And Blackberry Bliss. Oh, I love it. Oh, it's so striking. Okay, that's enough of that. Yeah, it is gorgeous. Gorgeous. So, those are the 12 by 12s. Now, I've got a couple of the... <laughs> I have a couple 6 by 6s here to show you. Not many. I have 752. Oh, yeah, I know that. Evening Evergreen. Oh, my God. I might cry when those colors retire if they don't carry them over next year there will be a color refresh you guys there will be because they do it every three to five years and next year will be the fifth year and so there's going to be a color refresh and they better bring those colors in or sarah's getting a phone call from me I'm sure she's quaking in her boots okay so we showed i showed you this already this is the in color stuff now this is something about tea tea boutique i didn't get this sweet i only got the paper i don't know why because i know i'll cave because everybody else got the pay, uh, the stamp set and dies. So uh, once I start seeing the samples. All right, let's just go through this quickly. So I think you get four of each. Yes, so you get four of these pattern. So four. And then the other side are solid. Four. The other side is solid. <gasps> Lemons. Oh. Love it. Oh, I love that color. Ooh, this is pretty. I like this one. Teacups. Oh, the purples. Yeah, man. That would be cute with berries. Yep. Mm -hmm. So four. Four. Yeah, very versatile. Oh, our mystery card Mondays, you guys. It'd be great. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they're all good. Well, Teresa, like I say, if you want, um, well, you probably ordered a bunch last week but um if you wanted in on the paper share then you get a quarter pack essentially of everything you get it all. all right so that's the tea boutique so i've got two of those yep all the new colors Okay. And this, did I put this one in there? No, this is the 2022-2024 in-color glimmer paper. I don't know if this one's in my share. I don't think so. Can you ever have too much glimmer paper? Maybe you can. I don't know. So these are all the new color. Very tight. Very tight. Yeah. And all the colors. Oh, you can stamp on this, you guys. You get out your stamparatus and you can stamp on this. I've done it. That's how I know you can do it. 
All right, those are all the papers that I have. Look at that, it's 7.55, so I should stop showing you things, right? Do you wanna see some more? Oh, the ribbon, I gotta show you the ribbon. Oh Lord, hang on. Oh my. Okay, hang on. Oh boy. Oh Lord. Hopefully you're not looking at my butt right now. I'm okay. I'm okay. I think I'm okay. I could get the metallics in the in colors. So look at this. So of course I got one, two of everything. Now I want to see how easy this is to tie. Let's see how malleable it is. Do the old tie test and see if it holds a bow. If it doesn't, I'm going to be irked. There's my bow tire. Let's do this. Let's see if I can tie this bow. Skinny. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. No problemo. Oh, fabulous. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, yeah. Easy peasy. Holds a knot. It's skinny. It's an eighth of an inch, she said, confidently not knowing and then checking. Eighth of an inch. Yep. Yes, ma'am. Gorgeous. Oops. I just tied that. Okay. Oh, you can expand it. You could fray it. You could take them apart and then tie. Oh, yeah. They're, oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. This is a winner, winner, chicken dinner. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, you lost sound. Weird. Huh. Okay. Maybe I just wasn't talking. Is that a thing? <laughs> okay. Well, these are fantastic. So you get a fifth of a roll. These are all the new in colors. Yes. And then Baker's Twine, you're going to get two yards of each color. Again, they're in all of the new in colors. Um, you want to see more, you say? Oh, my goodness. Okay, see, so the problem is, there we go. I took out all my... Papers, okay. Let's do it. This wasn't on the list of things to do today. Okay, what do I got here? Paper, paper. Let's look at some embellish. Bellies. Oh, Lord. Okay. There's more. There's a little bit more. Happy. Oh, Mr. V's not happy. Okay, I think that's it. All right, that's all. Okay, that's the paper. All right, so we got the ribbons. Oh, ribbon can go back in the box. Okay, it just keeps coming. <laughs> all right, back in the box. There you go. Ribbon's done. All right, so we've got the. Oh, I didn't even stamp these, but you get the idea of the colors anyway, right? <laughs> I'm something, Wendy. Okay. Oh, bust into a sweat here. These are nice. Look. Rustic metallic adhesive back dots, and they're different sizes. Look, in color matte decorative dots, and they're different sizes. <laughs> I know it just keeps coming, right, Valerie? Valerie, if your wish list, I'm not kidding, if your wish list is over $117, save yourself some money, get the starter kit. Okay, I just showed you those. What are these? Are these micro beads? I don't even know what I bought. Effervescent elements. What the heck is an effervescent? Oh, these are for when we use our new bottle punch and our adorb. Our adorable. They do like the old candy buttons. You're right. Okay. Oh my gosh. Look at these. So you're going to put the beads in the bottle. 
she said. I still haven't used my other punch that does this, the jar punch or whatever it was. So I haven't used that yet. Mm -hmm. no. beads. But there's like 3,000 beads and approximately 2,300 pieces. This has got some serious weight to it, you guys. This is heavy. I don't know how much it weighs. It's got some, it's got some weight to it. All right. More stuff. Okay, let's look at more of these. Get them off the table. <gasps> look. Oh, different sizes. You know, I like me some different. Oh, I got three of them. Woohoo! I must have bought the sweet. Glossy Dots assortment. Hmm. Opal rounds. These will, these will sell out. That's my prediction. If you want them, buy them soon. They're going to be like our sea glass and our rocks. They're going to sell out, you guys. Tamara knows. Listen to Auntie Tamara. She, oh, what are these? Huh. Lovely layers. This is vellum. Huh. I got three packs. <laughs> I don't know how to open it. It's vellum. You know I'm going to slice myself, don't you? It's part of the fun. 801. I should go. I wouldn't do that to you. I might do that to you. I guess I'm doing a big catalog launch. Hey, is this what I'm calling my catalog launch? I can't do it. Like, I don't know if I'm doing a catalog launch. I don't know what to do because I'm on vacation when this all kicks off. I don't know. And I was trying to plan my classes. Oh, I did. I planned some classes. I just haven't really nailed down. What's going on here? Oh, well, this is just vellum. What are you talking about? What? Why are they blank? Are they supposed to be blank? Huh? Hmm? Why do I have blank vellum? Tracy, why are they blank? I get 60 sheets. Are they just because they're pre-cut? That's weird. Tracy, investigate for me, will ya? What the heck does it say about these? Are they all supposed to be only some of them patterned? I thought they were all patterned. Okay, so there are some patterns. Weird. Did it say that? Who knew? See, I, don't, I just buy it. I don't even know what it is. I don't even use vellum. Anyway, there's lots of it. And a lot of it's blank. That's okay. We could do the alcohol marker. Oh, this is never going back in this package, you guys. Ever. So, back in the box with you. There you go. Okay. These are fun. Tea Boutique cards and envelopes. So, a couple of these. They're fun. Eh. Eh. Oh. Look how pretty these envelopes are. Eh. I'm okay. All right. So they're already cut and scored and ready to decorate. Boom. Slap a sentiment on that. You're done. <laughs> Working on the rose technique. Oh, excellent. Shayla is, have you tried it successfully? It's easy. Thank you, Wendy. Thank you, Tracy. Pre-cut. Part of one sweep. Stamp or emboss blank ones. Okay. Will do. That's what they tell me to do. Okay, let's get into the good stuff. Okay. So this is uh, bottled happiness. So it works with the bottle punch and those like microbead things I showed you. Cool. Now, I didn't remember what goes with what. So this one I know. Okay, this is a standalone die. It's dots. It's called Dots and Spots. It's a standalone die. Cool. Thanks, Debbie. Thanks, Shayla. Okay, this one works with this one. So this is called Sending Dies. I'm just going to go quickly. Sending Smiles. Smile. Okay, so sending smiles across the miles. All the good luck your way. Sunshine to brighten your day. Love and big... Okay, that's a good one. And then the dies, the word um, sending... You can cut out the background and the foreground, and then there's some flowers that match with these and these uh, labely things to punch out those. Bundle. Popped them back in there. He's all that. Does that have dies? I don't know. I think so. Maybe not. Yes, all that dies. So. Masculine set, Father's Day. Love this guy. Hello, handsome. Uh, 
to the man who does everything. Happy birthday to a classic, together for the long haul, and coordinating dies. Ooh, I like this hashtag -y business we got going on here. Get out. There we go. So those are fun. These, I like these a lot. Cool. On your wish list. There you go, Wendy. Yep, 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 yep. It's going to be a expensive April. Okay, this one has a matching punch. I'm doing a class with this one. Got to order it on the 3rd of May or it's going to sell out. Okay, because it wasn't originally, we ran out for the pre-order and didn't come in in time. So this one's going to sell out. So if you want to be in on this class, uh, I priced it out. I just haven't done the paperwork on it yet. So this one is going to be, what month is it? That's going to be in June. It's either the 24th or June 3rd. I'm thinking June 3rd. And it's going to be $70 long distance, $60 local. And it comes with the stamp set and the punch. I haven't decided which one is which. Depends on when I can get them, right? So I'm think I'm leaning towards June 3rd for that one. $70 long distance. So if you know you want to be in on this class, you let me know like sooner than later. Okay, so, so cute. Some of the samples in the catalog are adorable with this. Need that set for dad 75th? Yes, it's a good one. Mm -hmm. This one is called Blossoming Happiness. Oh, this one has dyes too. This one, oh good, uh, frames, where's the frames? Frames, frames, where did they go? Good air. Fabulous frames. These two go together. So I got this one for free um, for on, to on tour. No, what, tomorrow, tomorrow night I'm doing something. Oh, tomorrow night I'm, okay. Uh, what's it called? I don't know. I'm doing something tomorrow night on tour, maybe. Sure. And so this set came with it. And then I bought the dies that coordinate. So you can frame their big sentiments. You can put them, put, pop them in a frame. An oval. Yay. And then these are for like corners. Okay. You got to hurry along because it's 8.07. It's almost my bedtime. Uh, Nature's prints. I don't know what the fern goes. Oh, fern embossing folder. I don't know if that goes with something. But we're going to look at all these flowery things we got now. Okay. Framed occasions. What goes with that? Natural prints. Probably with nature's prints. Let's go with that. <laughs> That's a good guess. Didn't waste five years of university on nothing. Okay. Yeah. This cuts this out. Maybe I'll put it in the field of vision. Saw a bird card done with songbird and the ink colors. Oh, Barbara. Yeah. Okay, you're on my mind. Hello there. Heartfelt thank you. Best wishes. Happy thoughts. Ooh, this splotch will come in handy. This could be used for Chris. Well, these could be used for all kinds of things. So that's a bundle. Or a suite. That has matching paper too, right? I think. Okay, blossoming happiness. So that's probably this one. Happiness abounds. Yep. So this is about, oh, I like, like, look at all the words in the font. So I like, it's any thanks for all you do. Wish you all the happiness you can imagine. Yep. Oh, you've got a long list, Wendy. <laughs> yeah. Matching dies. So there's a fern embossing folder. I don't know what that goes with anything or just by itself. I'm not sure I'm going to love this one. I think it's going to really mangle my paper, which I don't love. But framed occasions. Don't know what this is for. Or I think it's just a standalone. This works with our... The dies that I just used, this big guy, Doop. and the circle, we'll work with that too, there's a circle in there. Botanical layers, thought that had dies, I don't know, who knows, oh fresh cut flowers, that one doesn't, that's a standalone set, but I love this one, this one I like a lot, and it's growing on me, love the fonts, I know, me too. Oh, uh, Wendy, I just bought everything, so <laughs> I was bound to hit something. And then these ones, you have to have these. This is this is a no-brainer. Stylish shapes dies. I anticipate that these will sell out. They'll come back, but this is going to be extremely popular because of the squares. Okay, that's all I bought. But while you're here, I really want to stamp this Orchid Oasis. I'm, I want to stamp these two colors. Let's grab a stamp. I'm going to grab this stamp because it's sitting here on my desk. Let's see what it looks like. Where's my white paper gone? White paper. Here's some white paper. No, that's not white paper. I lost it. 
Here, this guy had my little hedgehogs. Let's do this. I could use a big, where did my bigger piece of paper go? Did I cut it all? I guess I did. All right, here is, this is my starry sky. Bam. It looks, yeah, it looks like a navy blue, but then with a tinge of purple to it. That is going to look so nice with our purples. Look at our orchid oasis. I need more paper. There's some more. No, this is not paper, for God's sake. Grab a chunk there. Let's just do this. All right, orchid oasis. It's gorgeous. Oh, with the, with the lovely layers. Thank you, Bev. Once again, you guys got my back. Okay, this is orchid. Oh, so look at the difference. This one's brighter. The lighting is terrible. Okay. I need a new wipe. Ding. Okay. Sure, Dana. I got you. Okay. Um, actually, and I think there's another class I've got listed down. So when you get your catalog, Dan, if you have your catalog, the other class that I'm looking at for anybody who's a demonstrator is the go-to greetings. So that's one that was put together by um, one of the million dollar achievers. And it's got happy birthday in three or four fonts. Thank you in three or four th fonts. Thinking of you in three or four fonts and sizes. So I thought I would do a class with that one. And that one's going to be... $55 long distance, $45 local. Uh, and again, the dates are June 3rd and June 24th is what I'm working with right now. Okay, that's not very juicy. <laughs> they didn't ink up my sorbet, sweet sorbet very well. I'm going to have to re-ink that. It's not very bright, but that's okay. I bought the re-inker, you know I did. And then I'm going to do the Tahitian Tide and the Parakeet Party. And then I'll call it a day here. Okay. All right. Oh, you can see this is how they ink it. They've got these little... Okay, what the heck is going on here? Look at these little mangy bits. Okay, so the Tahitian Tide. <laughs> I know they restricted us from ordering everything. Okay. Okay. That's, I don't know how I feel about that. You know what? It reminds me of the, the blue, the raspberry icy pop, like the popsicles, you know, the icy, the freezies, <laughs> freezies. No, you can't decide Valerie. Well, that's why you just get them all. This one I'm going to like the best, my parakeet. It looks like if, um, lemon lime twist, look at that. It's not very well either. Lemon lime twist and granny apple green had a baby. Then we're going to get this parakeet party. Oh, I love that one. I love that one. And I love them together. I love, I love these two together and these two together, these two together. Oh yeah. Oh. Ah! Yep. And then there are blends to go with all of them and there are markers to go. I've already put my blends away, but there are all the blends. I don't really have to show you. Do I guess I do? Cause you want to see all the stuff. You know it. I love blends. I love them. I love it all. I love it all. Okay. Okay. The end of Kate and Toby. I'm going to be ugly crying. So sad this show is ending. I've never heard of it. <laughs> okay. I've never heard of that show. Pacific Point, Bev. Yeah. Yeah. This looks like tempting turquoise. Do we? That one retire, right? Pacific Point. Let me show you a Pacific Point in Luke. Stead. I should do a side-by-side -side comparison of a lot of these. Okay, it's now 814. I'm really going on now. So this is Pacific Point. Huh. Is it now? I wouldn't have I wouldn't have known that. Pacific Point. Huh. Totally different. That that reminds me more of a denim, right? Our our dapper denim. What kind of color? 
but uh, Tahitian dyed parakeet powder, Highland Heather combo. Yes, there's great combos. Absolutely some great combos. So um, there you have it. Okay, this poor stamp. <laughs> my flowing flowers stamp. Uh, needs a good clean. I need to get out my, my cleaner for that. Um, that is it for the show and tell uh, portion of our night. Here's the card I made. Um, right. So let's do a quick little recap for anybody who was late. And there were a few of you being tar tardy. Come on now. Don't make me come after you. Seven o'clock. You know the drill, ladies. Okay. <laughs> All right. So the paper share and the ribbon share. If you... Like, I can't order until the 3rd, and I don't even want your money until the 3rd, because once I have your money, I'm supposed to order it within 7 days, and I can't order it within the next 7 days. So, don't send me money, but send me a, hey, yeah, I want one of these, and I'll save you a spot. And then I know how much to order when I'm lying by the pool on the 3rd of May, which is my husband's birthday, and we're also going to Universal Studios. So, it's a very busy day. So, help me out here, and let me know in advance if you want one. Okay. Right? $120. You can get just the paper for $80. You can get just the ribbon for $40. You can get the two of them for $120. And then you get an extra half pack of the in color paper. $20 for shipping for the paper share. $20 for the shipping if you want the paper share and the ribbon. $5 if you want just the ribbon. Okay. Uh, otherwise, it's porch pickup. Okay. So that's the ribbon shares. And then mark your calendar. Now, for the 3rd of, what month is that? June. And the 24th. 20, uh, the 3rd and the 24th, I'm going to be doing the Sweet Songbird bundle for $70 long distance, $60 porch pickup, and I'm going to be doing the Go To Greetings, $55 long distance, $45 porch pickup, three cards. I'm just not sure which is going to be which. I might switch those around. I'm thinking Songbird on the 3rd and Go To Greetings at the end. But if I can't get the Songbird, then I'll have to switch them. So you got to be flexible with me, okay? All right. You're going to do it, Wendy? You're going to do the share? Um, and then I'm thinking of having an online class using the rain, the rain boots. Now, any interest in this? I have the cutest little idea, you guys. Check this out. Check this out. I thought we'd make a bunch of cards and put it in this, like cards can fit in here. So I thought I would do a class, but it's really expensive. So we could do just the stamp set for like the stamp set, the class and this bucket for $45 or the whole bundle for 80, like you would have the choice. And then we would do, I, I've only designed one card, but um, see you Valerie. Um, I'm thinking of doing that on the 20th of May right after I come back from holidays. Good times. So let me know if you'd be interested in that. I'm thinking it would be a fun class. You don't have to have the bundle. You can get just the stamp set. If you already have the stamp set, you can swap it out for something else that's $32. Anyway, that's what I got coming down the line. And my head hurts because I've been crunching numbers all day. And that is all I know. Sorry I went so long. It's 818, but you made me do it. So, <laughs> okay. Uh, message me comment if you want in on the shares and or the classes and I'll be giving more information obviously as the days go by. Thank you for hanging out with me. Uh, I will see nobody this weekend. It's Easter. For, it's Good Friday. So I won't see you until Easter Monday for Mystery Card Monday. Where did I get that cute watering can? I can't tell you all my secrets, Barbara. I could tell you. Dollarama. <laughs> all right. Good night. Thank you for hanging out with me um, and I'll see you when I see you. All right. Bye.